your babies? Yeah. Hold on, let's let's uh, tag team them so they don't run away from us. Welcome back guys. So uh, I think we finally found a way to name two of our baby goats. So we had some special visitors to the farm this week and if you guys don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook then you probably don't know who I'm talking about but Granger Smith stopped by the farm and how awesome it was to be able to meet him and his crew. What do you think? Was it awesome? Yeah. And uh, Granger seen, seen that we had some baby goats and we gave him a little bit of a uh, farm tour and uh he seen these baby goats and he grabbed one and uh took a picture with it right here on this rock and it's just an awesome feeling um if you guys don't know who granger is he is a uh, country music star mm -hmm. he has an alter ego goes by the name of earl's devil jr pretty funny guy him and his wife amber have an awesome uh family vlog here on youtube as well the smiths i'll leave the uh, link down in the description and everything family friendly channel very awesome to watch he's always got stuff going on he's a very creative guy and uh rachel and i and the kids were super super excited to be able to meet him and nonetheless he came here to our own house here in uh, oklahoma so how awesome is that that was pretty cool it was very cool wasn't it he got to meet mojo or mojo got to meet him daisy it was just an awesome experience for us but, uh, you know, we always struggle with all these baby goats because we usually have so many, it's hard to come up with names. But uh, since Granger came here and uh, he held, I think it was this one here, yeah. one of them. No, it was the one with the white ears. He actually held here and uh, took a picture with it. We have a family photo. I'll throw it up here. And uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to call this one Granger, the one with the white ears. And the one with the brown ears, we're going to call uh, Earl 
for Earl Dibbles Jr. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was an easy way to name these goats. Like I said, we only have two over here on this side of the uh, pasture for now on this herd of goats, but that made naming these goats real easy. So thanks, Granger. It was awesome meeting you guys. Yeah. And uh, you helped us name our goats. But anyways, guys, uh, like I said, it, it is super windy today, so bear with us. Hopefully you can hear us okay. And uh, the wind is not taking over the mic. Yeah. But these little goats over here on the Kiko Pygmy Pen are still the only two. These are the last ones we've had born here on the farm. And uh, should be any time. We got a cold front moving in this week. We're supposed to be getting some of the coldest temperatures that we've had all year this week. And uh, that usually will put these mama goats into labor a little early if they're not quite ready. Mojo, what do you think? Did you hear these babies crying? Oh, Mojo heard them crying, so he came over here and checking them out. But anyways, um, everything is going good. Uh, Granger came over. He worked on the sawmill a little bit. He got to mill up a little log. I think uh, he's going to have it in one of his videos. So be sure to go check out his channel, subscribe to the Smiths, and you guys can uh, see him work the sawmill a little bit. Him and Dutch came over, and uh, we had a good time. It was very awesome. So anyways, guys, Kai and I, we just fed the goats. We're going to feed the turkeys. Yeah. I got the turkeys pinned up right now because we're actually going to be getting rid of the turkeys. We got a couple of other YouTube channels that are going to take a couple of turkeys. And then this weekend, I think we're going to have uh, somebody come buy one. That's a whole nother story. I'm going to do a whole nother video over that, but you guys ain't going to want to miss this. They're actually going to buy a goat and a turkey from us and uh, turn it into some uh, Mojo, treats okay. for dogs. <laughs> they're okay. Yeah, Mojo's getting worried. Uh, we're holding his babies here. He said, hey, they're baby them babies are wanting their mamas. So, all right, let's put them down. And uh, since we got names, Granger, and what's yours name? Earl. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to put them down, let them get to their mom. We're going to go feed these turkeys, and then we'll go check out the uh, other babies in the Kiko in the Spanish goat pen. We're going to play on the rock. Let's see what he does. These guys are out here every morning jumping on these rocks. Yep. Whoa. Uh-oh. Mojo spots the chickens. <laughs> trying to get his food. Yeah, he jumped off, didn't he? <laughs> Alright, going in there. Alright. You can take it on through that door and just spread it out on the ground. So guys, I figured I'd make this video because I don't know if we'll be able to video the turkeys anymore since we're going to be getting rid of them. Uh, the turkeys have been a big part of our channel here at Hidden Heights Farm. Ever since we started YouTube, we've had turkeys. Um, we even got turkeys in our logo. We got a turkey in our logo. But we have decided to do away with the turkeys. Um, we liked having them and everything. They were free range pretty much the whole time they were here. When they're not, they're in this pen, and they're just not happy in this pen. I hate keeping any kind of animal like this pinned up, especially when you got the land. But they just terrorize the chickens. They don't get along with the chickens real well. And uh, it seems like they're so much happier out here in the grass and out in the pastures and everything. But they keep coming up to our house and crapping on the sidewalks, and it's just never ending. And I don't want to keep them pinned up, so I found a couple other families. I'm going to give them to them, um, and you're going to get to see them on YouTube. They have YouTube channels. We'll, we'll share that when it comes time. We're gonna, we'll make a video over that, but I'm not going to tell you who it is. I know some of you know because some of you guys have come over from their channels and said, hey, so-and-so needs some turkeys. You need to hook them up. So we're going to do that. Uh, I think both channels, one channel is getting a pair, and another channel is going to get um, two hens. And I think they've already got a tom, so you're going to be able to see them over there. And see what they do with them. I'm sure they'll use them for breeding, maybe hatch some eggs out, whatever they want to do. They're free to do. They might just want to eat them. Who knows? All right, Kai, you ready to go feed the uh, other goats? Yep. Huh? Go count yeah. some babies. All right. All right, guys. So we're out here at the sawmill, and the last time Dutch and I fired this up, we milled this big post here. It's like a ten by ten squared it up there he's going to use that for his side and that's a piece of white oak and then when granger is here we let him take some slabs off of this big white oak log here and uh dutch is going to use this to uh make some siding as well 
I think I actually got some uh, video footage when Granger was here slabbing this log up, taking a couple passes at it. So I'll throw that up right now and uh, you guys can watch that. So we'll be happy to report that the day that Dutch and I went to his off-grid land and uh, he fell a few trees. We loaded them up on the dump truck and it did awesome. It's running better than ever since we got the transmission fixed. So I think this is going to open up a lot of uh, avenues for us as far as we're going to be able to venture out a little further from just our properties and start trying to uh, harvest some logs. We've had a lot of you guys hit us up. Um, that live in surrounding towns and stuff. I haven't got back to anyone yet saying you got some black walnut and stuff like that. So we might be hitting you up soon. Uh, now that we got the truck running good, I'm not too afraid to take it a little further from the house. So these goats are all waiting on me. They're, they've been screaming at us to get their food. So we better get them fed. So they're still not 100% used to the creep feeder. So I still got to put some in there and then it kind of teaches the others, hey, there's food in here. So that's what I'm doing right now. So of course, I've got the creep feeder filled up, but the only one that's smart enough is two socks. Look at everybody else. All these other baby goats, they want to eat like the big kids. Hey, you know you got your own feeder, bud. Look at them. They're smart enough to jump up on there so they don't get crushed by the big goats. What do you think about that? <laughs> the goats push them on each other, I'm sure. Hey, come here, I want to show you something. Look in here. Look. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're getting greedy as their mom, so I know they're eating the creep feed. Or I know they're eating the feed out of there because every day I come in here, the creep feeder's empty. So I know the babies are eating it. They're just taking advantage of uh, their mom's food and their food. Kaya's got a uh, number eight, which don't have a name yet. We have not named anybody, except those two little uh, goats over there, Granger and Earl, and then of course two socks right here. So this year we're not naming all the goats, right? Oh. You all right? Where'd it hit 
you out. Right here. What you got there, sis? I got two socks. Oh. So Kai was just holding the other goat, number eight, and uh, Tiny decided to come up to her and horn her right in the arm. That hurt you, sis? Yes. Yeah. We're gonna get rid of her, ain't we? Yeah. She's a. Uh, She's the one that figured out how to jump through Daisy's jump gate. And uh, she's just been acting really weird lately. Uh, she is pregnant, so she's going to be having some babies or a baby. But I just don't like the way she's been acting. And after she just did that to Kaya, we'll be getting rid of her for sure. Not too happy with you, Tiny. You okay, Kaya? Yeah. Poor girl, where'd she hit you at? Right here. I thought she got you in the face. We don't want goats that's going to be doing that, do we? No. You watch her, because she's liable to do it again. Yeah. You got a goat behind you that's sniffing. <laughs> that's a teenager goat. So what's your favorite part of having the baby goats? Probably because they're really cute and I get to hold them. You get to hold them. You get to come out here and spend time, get yeah. out of the house. And some... Some are really, really just chill. Like, they don't care if they pick like, you up. Yeah, like, two socks, he's just sitting there chill. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. What's that mean? It means, like, relax. relax. Well, I'm sorry Tiny did that to you. We're, we'll be getting rid of her now. So one thing I've noticed is, since we've uh, treated these babies with the permethrin, remember how they were scratching? Yeah. They're not scratching anymore. Nope. So uh, that's a good sign. Daisy's sitting on top of Yeah, me. Daisy's guarding Kaya now. She's seen Tiny do that to uh, Kaya and she didn't like that very well. So now Daisy is guarding Kaya and two socks. Here you go. You, you guarding your sissy Kaya? Huh? Yeah. Good girl. Daisy's a really good She girl. is. So we are out of hay. So tomorrow. I will get a uh, Bella Hay in here. I just fed them some alfalfa, and that don't last no time off the square bells, but we'll get a load of, uh, we'll get a bell of hay and load it in here tomorrow because this weekend it's gonna be getting nasty. All right, you ready to wrap this video up? Yeah. All right, hold on. So anyways, guys, we just wanted to share with you our experience of meeting Granger Smith. Uh, super excited, I'm still just, I don't know what to say. It was just awesome that he uh, came here to our farm and actually took a little tour, held one of our baby goats. I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. The kids and Rachel and I have been excited about it all week, and it's just one of those things that YouTube, this YouTube platform, if we weren't on YouTube, I don't think it would have happened. So uh, just another positive thing of being here on the YouTube, meeting other awesome people, very influential people, good people, and uh, that's the way we want to keep it. So anyways, thanks to Granger for stopping by and uh, helping us name these baby goats. You want to end the video? Yes. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video if you got it all the way through. Leave Basically. a comment? Yeah. Alright. Alright guys. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Go check out the Smiths. Don't forget my buddy, Keeping It Dutch, if you haven't subscribed to him yet. I'll leave a link to the Smiths down in the description. Go there and tell them thank you for helping Hidden Heights Farm name their baby goats. And uh, we'll see you next time. Help your sister, Caleb.